Stewart. We're sitting right here below Lock and Dam number one. It's late March. It's prime shad fishing season. Most of the hickory shad have already moved through, um, but the American shad have sure been here for the past few days. That's right. We got a got a good current flow coming out. Got a good flow. They're kind of hanging right here in the little eddies behind the flow of the of the dam here, and uh, just kind of work the little shad darts through there. Steady little pace. Sometimes let them sink a little more. Sometimes keep them up a little higher. And, we should pick a couple of these big old Americans out of here. It, it seems hit or miss. You know, the fish kind of come and go, but when when they start biting, we sure get bit pretty often. So I'm looking forward to a great day. Man, when they bite on this light tackle too, it's, uh, you can't it's a lot of fun it. when you hook a nice one on here. You can't beat it. That's right. Let's we'll see if we can't get one. That's right. Hi. Great job, All Stu. right. Let me get out of your All way right. here. There we go. Look at that thing bend. God, this is a nice one. Big old shad. That's a nice first fish of the day. Look at that. That's oh, a really oh. Nice fish. He jumped off. Oh, well. Oh, That's well. all right. No, we call that a quick release. That's right. <laughs> we'll take that one. That's not bad for the first one. There's more in there. All right. Check my rig every once, and we'll go from there. All right. We're ready to roll. Now, how deep were you? Man, I was just reeling. Okay. I just kind of cranked out and just was just cranking through. Yeah. There he is. Where'd that fish hit? Way out there in the middle. No kidding. Here he comes. Right, right out in the deep current. Here he comes. Yeah, he was way out over here in the current. There we go. <laughs> got an American or a hickory on here. Let's see what we got. I think that's an American. He hit on the dart. Hit on did the dart. He hit yep. On, yep, yeah, he sure did. Boy, with these light rods, I mean, I swear. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a fairly firm drag on that fish, too. These fish are such great fighting fish. Yeah. They are such great. And I excellent, can't, excellent sport fish. I don't want to put too much on him and pull the hook out of his mouth. Boy, you don't think a big old king mackerel will come up and eat that thing, do you? <laughs> All right, I'll swing him over here to you. All right. All right. Good job, Stu. All right. Excellent. All right. You got him? Yeah. On the dark. We're figuring it out. Now this Great is the fun fish. Part. Trying to hold them. All Quick right. release. We'll take it. All right. All right. Good job. Good job. Now it's my turn. That's right. I'm gonna go right back out there in the same spot. Let's see. Now it's my turn. Let's see if there's another one out there. And all I was doing was just cranking it in. He was up rather high in the water was column he? on that one. Yet. Yeah. Sure was. Oh yeah. <laughs> There he is. Oh, yeah. Now that. that oh. That's the that nice fish right was, there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That fish was right here at the boat. I love it. He was right here yeah, at the boat. Yeah, he was literally right on that current scene. And then he decided to go out that way. <laughs> that was great. Look at this. Man, that's a nice one. That's God. a nice fish right there. That's a nice one right there. I think that's Ooh. a nice fish. <laughs> That is a nice fish. Oh, Since wow. you caught one on that white and green dart, I put two of them <laughs> this time. Since that seemed to be the God, uh, things fight good. dart of choice. That's a nice one there. Look at the size of that fish. Look at that. Got All it. right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that big old thing. Look at that pretty fish. Look at that. Look at the purple on his on his colors right there. All right, there you go. Grab him out of there. Oh, yeah. Look at that fish. I'll say that's a decent fish right there. You aren't lying. Nothing wrong with that fish at all. Look at that. That's right. That's what we like to see. Yep. God. Nothing wrong with that fish at all. What a great fight on this light rod. Mm. Look at the purple on that thing. That is a pretty fish right there. All right, buddy. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
I love good, it. Good, good. I love it. I, I love, know. It. love it. God, he burned some drag on that I one, didn't know. he? <laughs> Let's see if there's another one in there. That's right. Oh. Walking. There right, buddy. right in that current sink. Right in the current break. Yeah. Look at that little thing out there, man. <laughs> God, they just dig in that current. I know they do. They turn that body side to you. And... God. I don't think he's done quite yet. I know. I feel this. Oh, he's barely hooked. He is barely hooked, Walker. Slip him over here and I'll put the I'm net I'm trying to. Yeah. There we go. There we All go. All right. Good job. There we go. Perfect. There's that beauty old dart right next side of the mouth. Yeah. Well, I thought I didn't have him hooked very well, but I, I think guess. you had him hooked pretty darn I well. I had him hooked pretty good. There we go. <laughs> all right. Just slid out. Not a bad fish at all. Let me I'll touch him real quick. Look at the color on it. Look I at know. that, the way they flow that color down. That really a, brilliant iridescent. God. Look at the mouth. They really got a big mouth on it. They them. do. All right, buddy. All right, big fella. Let's let you roll back and go spawn and put a million more of you out there. There you there go. Right. No, no worse for the experience. No, no, not <laughs> at all. Thank you for the net job. You bet. You, bet. you know, Walker, I've been throwing picking up most of my fish when I've been throwing up into the current and mm -hmm. bringing it back to them. And I, I think, you know, it's kind of telling me that these fish are laying facing up into this current. I think they are. I think they're laying right on this edge. You've got really swift current 30 feet out there, but you've got almost no current. In fact, this is a little eddy where the current's actually flowing up towards the dam right here where we're sitting. And I think they're laying facing up river, but right out of the current. That seems to be where you're getting bit. Right along that seam right yep, there. You right can there. almost see it. There's a little seam. And when you come through there, that's where they tend to be sitting. Yep. Just bring these little darts in their face and they I can't know. stand it. I know. Whew. I can't stand it either. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is kind of nice. You can kick back and put your feet up. <laughs> Guys, a nice one, Walker. Look at him going all the way around the boat. Yeah, look at this one. I think he is. I think we might be able to get him here. Looks like he's wanting to. Here you go. I'll try to drag him to you. Yeah. This dart slid right out of that fish's mouth. Strange. <laughs> Weird thing this. about these shad is they don't really have a good handle. No, they don't. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. That's when a boga grip comes in. Look at that really thing. Handy. Look at that <laughs> fish. That is a pretty fish right That's there. That's the biggest one yet. That, that is the biggest one of the day, and that is a beautiful, beautiful shad. Ah, man, have something pull like that at the end of March. It took us all the way around the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Take that any day right there. All right. Let me get that out your way. He's ready to go. There, there he goes. goes. Awesome. Good job, Captain Stu. Thank you, sir. Good job, buddy. Hey there, WG. All right. What were you doing, taking a sip of drink? I just sat down to take a little sip of water and... <laughs> That's usually how it happens, isn't it? He jumped all over it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. Get some to drink. <laughs> yeah. Snack on a nap, something like that. That's hey, usually when you get the bite. This is another really nice fish here. Oh my goodness. That is a that's this, a look pretty at the fish. Size, look at that. Look at how thick that that's thing is. That's another pretty fish. Oh. Uh, that's a nice one right there, buddy. Hey, that yeah. fish hit the plastic. It hit the plastic? Yeah. That fish is on the plastic. God, look at the size of that one. 
That fish That's is on nice the plastic. There, cool. <laughs> oh, look at that. I think that Ooh, might that's have, the biggest one yet have right to there. be the biggest one of the day. I think it is. If I do say so myself. All right, let me see if I can hold him down. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's see what we got here. He's all in the net, but that fish hit that little plastic curly tail grub. I added a, a little plastic curly tail trailer to mine to give it a little extra weight and get it down. It seems that the fish are holding a little bit further down in this swift current. You need a little weight to get it down to the fish. And uh, yeah, so. I think once that sun kind of warms this water up a little mm -hmm. bit here, you know, early afternoon, mm -hmm. they'll probably move up to the surface a little bit more and they'll probably bite a little more readily up top. But right now they do seem to be a little deeper. In the past couple of days, we found that they've been high in the water column, low in the water column. Um, it's just a matter of figuring it out. Seems like a, a big wave of fish moves in and yeah. everybody hooks up. Then wave moves out, then another one moves in, and everybody hooks up, and you just have to be here when the next big ball of fish moves I up know. here. Just a batter sitting and waiting on them. A lot of folks overlook these fish in the springtime as a as a sport fish, and they'll don't, don't bother shad fishing. But what a great great sport fish! Man, I don't know why, because look how hard these things pull. Uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, look at that. You know, down on the coast, things are just now turning on, but. God, what a great way to but it's, you know, come and spend a day. Oh, you can come up here and catch 30 of these. <laughs> you know, I mean. He's taking off. God, he's just digging and digging. There, there we he go. is. All right. What can I do for you? There we go. All right. Jig log right, right lodged side. right there in the corner of his mouth where it ought to be. Perfect. All right. And it just flipped right out. Like usual. That's Let's, perfect. Nice yeah. release. Look at That's that little a thing. Pretty boy. little Cape Fear Shad. That is pretty right there, I swear. Yep. You know, you can come up here, they, they're aggressive, they hit hard. There's no doubt when they bite. <laughs> I know. It's a it's an easy, easy way to spend a day and a yeah. great way. And you All don't right, need don't. a big old boat there to come do it. Got your little John boat, come up here and have a great day. Good job, man. Thank Good you. job. Good job. And he came from right up there towards the dam. Right up in the seam right there. Joe, we had a good day, got there a little early, but all in all, it was a good day of fishing. Yeah, it was a little early. The fishing, had, had they've been catching a few fish. We heard some early reports that they had a couple of good days, um, like a week before we were there. Uh, but we ended up catching, I think it was 16 fish that day, which is a, is a, is a good day with white shad and, and no real big white shad. You know, they, they get as big as um, six, seven pounds and, and uh, nothing quite that large, but, uh, but just nonetheless had, had a good day. Well, let's talk about some of the gear we use. Let's go to gear time. Stuart, you couldn't ask for a more beautiful day on the Cape Fear River. We're sitting just below Lock and Dam number one. It's about 70 degrees, blue sky, light wind, and most of all, the shad we're biting today. Man, it was so great out here. I, you know, I love coming up here and catching these fish. You can get it from two to six pounds if right. you get you a big one. Something that really is going to make them fun is to have a nice, light outfit for them. We're using some Quantum PT in a 10 size mm -hmm. reel a quantum extra light rod in a four to eight pound class, and then we're stringing it up with some suffix braid that is an eight pound class outfit. So match the outfit to the fish and you'll have a good time, especially when they're digging in that current. That's true. One of the things we had to figure out today was where the fish were sitting in the current. Were they high in the water column or were they low? Were they on the seams or were they out in the current? After we figured out the pattern today, we caught a bunch of fish. That's right, and it also took us figuring out what baits they wanted Absolutely, today. Yeah. We had to figure out, did they want the pink baits, or did they want white, or did they want chartreuse? And today, it seems like this chartreuse and white shad dart with a little Mr. Twister curly tail up here in front of it, that seemed to be the combo. That little bit of metal flake in that curly tail would kind of call them up, and then they'd come in there and pile on the shad dart. It seemed to work perfectly. We tried a lot of different patterns. That's the one that caught the fish, though. That's right, and we just got here and got below the dam, 
put it out in the current, slow crank it back up into oh. right into the scene, right into the eddy, and as soon as you got in the eddy, thump, they'd well, pump that thing. It's, you couldn't ask for a better late March fish to pursue. The shad were fantastic. They're excellent on light tackle, and uh, this was just a perfect day. Yeah, you gotta love it. Sunny day, been cooped up all winter long. It's <laughs> 70 degrees, you get to get out of the office and just come out here and enjoy it. It's Catch some nice fish on light tackle. Great way to dust off the equipment. So That's right. Fantastic. I enjoyed it. Thanks for having me. And man, I hope we get to do it again soon. I'll have you anytime, man. Thank you. Let me know when you're ready to go. Thank you.